Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here. Just got back from my five day archery elk hunt for the 2016 season and uh, changed it up just a little bit on uh, my system. So I thought I'd go through it here. You guys seem to like that. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Got the bow holster, worked really well to put the bow on top. The bow holster simply comes with that bottom piece that you put the cam in, as well as the uh, strap up here. Works really well. <clears throat> Compression straps work fine too. You really don't need this. Honestly, it's just extra weight, but worked out pretty well for me. On the bottom, as usual, you have the Faro Field Chair. And um, I really can't say enough great things about this. It uh, truly is one of the better things that, uh, that I carry around, but it is a luxury item. Um, but it works great for glassing around camp, uh, just relaxing. Um, Kuyu, Kuyu Yukon Gators. Great as always, uh, I will be doing a specific review on these, um, but if you're on the fence about getting them, go ahead and do yourself a favor, get them, they're great. Um, down here we got the Kafaru uh, water bottle holster and the Nalgene. Um, this top is great, it uh, opens up the top so you can drink out of it without wearing it um, like I normally do. Um, let's see, one of the better purchases I did uh, get in the off season this year it's actually right here, um, and it's here so it's easy to get to. And that is my Super Down jacket from, from Kuyu. Um, this jacket is extremely lightweight. Um, I'll be doing a separate review on just this jacket. Um, but really, the DWR coating on this thing uh, and the warmth for it, uh, that's going to be going on every chip I have from now on. Um, speaking of every trip uh, gear, um, these First Light... Uh, fingerless gloves from uh, First Light, they're Moreno wool. Um, they are fantastic. They're their talus gloves. Honestly, I don't take them off um, for anything other than to put my contacts in. And if those aren't warm enough, which usually they are, I just added these uh, uh, Tiburon gloves on top. Worked out pretty well. I did forget one thing. I think you always forget one thing, but hopefully it's never a major thing. So this year, uh, I forgot my baseball cap, um, but I had my Moreno wool beanie and my First Light um, brimmed beanie, uh, which is the short brim, so it doesn't get in the way while you're shooting your bow. Worked out just fine, honestly. Um, it, you can roll it up so you're not too hot. Um, you are wearing two Moreno hats, but really, it wasn't too hot. It was fine. Um, cheap Eddie Bauer rain jacket. That will probably get replaced. I found a couple holes on it. Um, I changed my stuff around. Now I kind of have this tent bag slash ditty bag. Um, but I will go through that. Um, it's in one of the new Kuyu pullouts. Or Kuyu uh, dry zip bags. Um, basically a Kafaru, Kafaru pullout made by Kuyu. Um, sleep system this year went from... Really just one side to actually needing two sides at my my uh, um, bag here. So in this side, I had, um, instead of in the bottom having my tarp, I actually have a brand new sleeping pad I'll be doing a review on. Um, again, by Big Agnes, but it's the Q-Core SLX rather than just the SL. Um, that, I got the long, wide version, and I will probably never sleep on a different pad ever again. Tent stakes in here, pillow, um, and um, uh, a two liter Sea to Summit bag that has uh, extra clothes in it. And that's all for that side. This side, we had the bugle tube from Elknut, which was very well used. Unfortunately, didn't get anything this time, but well used. And here was my uh, solitaire. It's actually made by Eureka. It's called a Eureka Solitaire. Um, and it's pretty small. Um, it is a tent, but it is not much bigger than, than a bivy. Um, and it works out really well. Um, I will absolutely be doing a review on that um, shortly here. On top, as usual, paracord inside the top pocket. Trash. Um, this 10,000 milliamp Mo Power uh, worked out great. It's got a 2.1 amp and a 1 amp charger, and I used it and charged my iPhone 6 Plus three times. As you can see, it still has half of its battery left, so that's pretty impressive. Um, actually, I charged it four times, I, I lied. Um, 
worked pretty well. Um, toilet paper as always. Uh, Red man, because, well, because you always need that. <laughs> um, fire starter, neck gator. Um, this is a backup so that if something hits the fan, this is a backup cell charger. Charges the just 3,000 uh, milliamps, but it will charge pretty much anything I need it to in the end. Um, elk calls. Um, this Kuyu cloth, honestly, um, <laughs> honestly, I'll show you what to buy. Um, it, but don't don't buy one of these. They're they're fine um, for just cleaning stuff off. But if you really want to clean your optics, use a lens pen, um, and I'll show more about that. Uh, this is just a USB mini or micro USB cord. Um, and inside there, I have the um, dime by Gerber, which is just a little multi tool and safety pins, small carabiner, and some clips in case something breaks. Um, and extra release. Um, so in the main bag, I have another good uh, good thing as I knock the tripod, so you guys are all moving, so I apologize. Um, but in the main bag, um, again, good horse horseshoe zipper. Um, I have one of the new pieces of gear that, that I really am happy about getting, and those are my camp shoes. Um, folded together, they fold flat. Um, they fold really flat individually. Not much thicker than a sandal, but you got toe protection. These are made by Sanuk, S-A-N-U-K, or S-A-M-U-K. I think it's S-A-N-U-K. Um, they're, they're great. Uh, lightweight, don't weigh more, much more than the sandal. Um, they're breathable. Great camp shoes. Probably could be used for water crossing shoes too. Um, but I was happy with them. Food bag for, for day five, obviously. Didn't finish my meal bar. Um, those are great if you're looking for bars. Uh, I had some bourbon, of course. Um, just enough to get me back. One of the bags, I promise, guys, I am working on those uh, videos of doing these individually. This is a cook kit. I've got my kill kit, which unfortunately didn't get used, but still, again, great big fan of these uh, Kafaru bags. I will say that my food bag, which is here, is now mostly empty. Um, this bag, as you can see, is in perfect condition. I tried my hardest to rip this, to split the zipper out, to destroy it, um, so that I could tell you guys, oh yeah, they do fail. Um, be careful, don't do this. But uh, like I said, I tried my hardest and it didn't work. It's still perfect. Um, this had five days of food. Um, I had one bag that didn't fit inside this for the first day, but five days of food. It was tight, but it fit. Um, this, same idea. Um, I tried to rip it. Uh, I'm a little more apprehensive of this ripping. Um, I think this will probably rip closer or sooner than the Kuyu bags or the uh, Kafara bags. But again, guys, I'm trying to rip it. I'm trying to let you know if they, they last, but uh, I stuffed this thing full quite a bit. Um, my stera pins in there, but um, and Luca tape, but yeah, I stuffed it full and and it wouldn't rip. Um, of course, another pullout. I've got my uh, first aid kit. Thankfully, didn't need that other than just some Tylenol. I actually took glasses this time so that I could take my contacts out at the end of the day, which was nice. Um, that's my release. And another luxury item was uh, my speakers, which are. Water resistant, at least you can leave them out in the rain, it won't do anything. Inside you've got your iPod um, for for camp tunes, which is nice if you can't hear the, the bulls bugling at night. Um, as far as clothes, um, I'm going to hang on to those for a second. I'll talk to you about those in just a second. But uh, in the bottom, I've got my REI Igneo. I am going to be switching to a synthetic bag for multitude of reasons, but I will talk about that when I get its replacement. Um, but... Other than that, I mean, I am happy with this bag, but might not be as durable um, as I want and uh, makes me a little nervous about water. So um, I went from a three liter bladder to a uh, liter and a half, and that, frankly, was plenty of water for me. This was full when I hiked out. I hiked out about five miles, drank less than, uh, less than a liter, so um, probably half a liter, so... Um, liter and a half is plenty for me, plus I also have the, uh, liter on the side there. Um, I mentioned clothes. I do want to talk about those real quick. Um, as always, my 
Tiburon shirt went on. Um, although it's breathable, uh, guys, I really can't say enough about it. If you're on the fence about getting one, I'd go ahead and look at it. They're, uh, they've got a DWR coating on it. And yes, you can see through it, but it still bleeds off um, the water. So not really sure how that works, but it does work. Um, and then, of course, I just had a uh, 145 Moreno Kuyu uh, t-shirt, which worked out really well. I also had a 210 top and a 145 top, and both of those worked out really well. Um, two new pieces of gear that I tested out that um, I'm very pleased with both of them, actually. One was the Dobson Boxers from First Light. Um, great boxers. Uh, they are looser. They're not as tight as the Ex Officio Boxers. Um, they are a little bit longer, but they kind of... Well, they're not very tight along the top, around your waist. They do tighten around your, your legs, depending on the size of your legs, obviously. Um, to kind of go toward the compression short area, but they're not quite compression shorts, so. Um, great, I wore them for five days. I wore them all day, every day for five days. And um, they really, right now, they don't smell that bad, so. Pretty happy with those. Um, other piece of gear I got were the uh, Alpine pants from Kuyu. These, I've got a lot of things I really liked about them. Um, the knee pads worked out great for me. Um, on the back side of the knee pads, I will say it is not a lined, it's a single layer um, fabric and um, the knee pads have the same layer. So when you start sweating, you'll feel those knee pads a little bit. It's not really that big a deal. Um, the knee pads are light, they're thin, and they worked really well. I will do a specific review on this, but quick review. Great knee pads. The individual um, dual cargo pocket is fantastic for organization. And the cool thing I learned, obviously a zipper pocket here and hip, hip, uh, hip vents here. If you're hot and you're walking, open these cargo pockets too. Um, that made a world of difference, um, and I'm sure it's the same on their others, but this is also see-through. There's my hand you can see, obviously. Hand here, hand there. Open those if you're too hot. Um, it will it will help. Um, dual uh, rear um, zipped. Things I'm not big on on these pants. Um, they are lighter than the Attack, which I liked. The DWR coating on this is a mystery. I have emailed them because one of my catalogs said that it has DWR on these Alpine pants. One of the catalogs says it doesn't or doesn't mention it. It's not mentioned online, so I have emailed them at actually about five minutes before I'm doing this video, so I haven't heard back from them. If it's not DWR uh, coated, so or water resistant, that's that's not cool. I'm really not happy about that. If it is, I'm still not happy. Um, it it just it soaked it through, and they're thin enough that it dried quickly. But that's that's something that it needs. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I'm not sure if they're going back. I'm not sure if they're going to get coated. Um, but I'll let you guys know. Um, the last comment I have is the 32s that I always wear for. Um, Kuyu stuff, as you can see, these are 32s as well. Um, fit like a glove. I don't need a belt. These are huge. <laughs> um, you could, it's probably more like a 33 um, or a 34, but um, all in all, pretty happy with them. I wish they were more water resistant. Thankfully, we didn't see um, much rain, but um, that, that was it. Um, all said and done, going in. Two and a half liters of water, um, five days of food, so a liter of water in the Nalgene and two, uh, one and a half in the Camelback. Uh, all said and done, loaded up like it was with a trekking pole, trekking pole, and including my Glock on my hip, was 40 pounds, six ounces. So not bad, um, but uh, definitely wish it would have come out a little bit heavier on the way out. Um, Colorado Hunter Hiker is on Facebook, as you guys know, but it's also now on Instagram. So be watching there. Go follow us on there, and you'll you'll get updated pictures. Um, but as always, any questions or comments, please just let me know. I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys and gals. Have a great day.